I've seen quite a few videos where people have made the lightweight Foster's stoves, or Foster's cans, the pots. Uh, so here is a Foster's pot that I made. Uh, I showed the video of making the one that was about 16.9, 17 ounces. This one is about 12 ounces. Uh, it's 11 ounces to the rim that I have inside. I've got a silicone band on the top and then another one around the, the center so that I can grab it. So, you know, you see a lot of people put together super ultra light cook kits, but how many of them do you see actually using them out in the woods? Uh, usually it's just a, a video that they make and they show it and they may do a boil test on it in their kitchen out in their backyard. But it's rare that you find a video where someone's using something uh, like this, this lightweight kit. So what I have in this one, I taken the top off, uh, and I was using the top as a lid. So in my my video, you can see how to use the top as a lid if you take it off correctly. But that weighed eight grams. So I went ahead, cut out a piece of the Starbucks espresso can, folded it over, created a, a nice sealable lid goes on there pretty nicely one gram so eight grams down to one gram there um, got my mini Bic lighter spagiver stove and my carbon felt windscreen which also acts as a pot grabber and as a cozy when I'm drinking my coffee out of it so this is the cook kit I brought with me this time and this is what I'm gonna be doing all my all my cooking on so you'll get to see it in action in the field Real light, super light, light lid, and everything works. Uh, I'm not afraid to, to bring it out here and use it, so you guys get to see it in action this time. So to do this one, it's the two and a half ounces of water. It says to use cool water. I'm going to use uh, boiling water just because I want it warm tonight. It's a little bit chilly out already, so I want to go ahead and do that. So opening it up, got the ingredients, nutritional information on here, and directions on how to do it. Got an olive oil packet, and then the actual ingredients, which when you take a look, those look those look really good. So I'm gonna start by the boiling bag opening it up, dumping this in there, making sure I get the, the clay desiccant out of there. Uh, never want to eat that. Not that it's going to kill you, but it probably won't taste all that good. Huh, so pull that bad boy out, and now you've got your mixture in here. Two and a half ounces of water. That's not a whole lot. I've got more than that on right now, uh, just so that I make sure that I have enough olive oil. So let's see. So it says... Add the water, zip, mix it up, massage it, pat it flat, set it aside, uh, let it sit for 10 minutes, flipping it over every once in a while, and then drizzle olive oil over the mix, and then set aside for five minutes longer, open the bag, stir, put it on the tortillas, and enjoy. Uh, so, seems pretty easy. Let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna get this thing going and uh, come back once, I, once I've got it going. So for after dinner, uh, after I get this made up, actually, I could I could go ahead and make it up and have it with dinner. I think that, that might be the way to go. So pizza on those tortillas, uh, water's just about to, to boil. And then a friend from work gave me some really good uh, sipping tequila. Now this is, this is not harsh whatsoever. Uh, very, very smooth tequila. It's a hard find. It's something really hard to find. So he gave me a little bit. So I've got the moonshine margarita mix with me. I'm gonna go ahead and have myself a nice, nice cocktail with my dinner and uh, enjoy that. You know, one of the one of the perks of being able to come out here and, and enjoy this. Um, really cool. So I just added the olive oil to the mix and put it back in for another five minutes. Mixed it up, and I'll tell you, the smell of that is awesome. Uh, I think this is gonna be really good. It's really hot. Uh, you know, it says it's a cold mix. I really think I'm gonna prefer this one hot. You know, who? I mean, cold pizza is good. 
<laughs> Who am I kidding? I'll eat cold pizza any day of the week. Um, but hot pizza is just better, you know? Okay. This claims it's enough to spread onto two tortillas, but I've got the pretty big tortilla, so I'm just gonna throw it all on one and have a nice, nice big tortilla. I'm gonna try and save my, my spoon. Try not to uh, get that all a mess. So I'm just gonna squeeze the bag out, get all these goodies that are in here, all kind of squeezed out. I'll try and get them onto there. That's good. Okay. So it's on there. Uh, squish it down a little bit. Oh yeah, it's gonna make a nice big tortilla. Uh, if this this flour tortilla holds up, it's kind of uh, falling apart a little bit. But it's together. Looks good. So now the the moment of truth. It's dripping quite a bit. Move that out of the way. Mm. Haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so I've eaten down the uh, the tortilla, so that now I'm down to the good stuff. So it's gonna be the the first bite with with the good stuff. Oh man, it's really rich. Um, you can definitely taste the spices in there. Man, it's a. Uh, powerful it's good I really like it um, it's a little bit spicy I wasn't expecting that I wasn't expect, expecting it to to have some zing some kick to it but it does and on a on a cooler night you know it's tingling my my lips a little bit right now uh, on a cooler night that's kind of nice so I'm gonna enjoy this but uh, I gotta say tasty tasty probably not one of my absolute favorites um, but definitely one I would eat any day.